morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's my privilege and an honor to address this distinguished group of gathering. You know, I, over these last two days, I met each one of you and it was a humbling experience meeting you and learning from you all and the exciting, exciting work that has been going in the, among the Indian American community and across the world. Based on our discussions and what generally people ask me, I just wanted to answer three questions for you today. Very simple, why am I in India? How we do things differently? And how can you be a part of our journey? Let me tell you, America has given me a big launch pad, just it has you know, given for most of you. When the educational system in India rejected me because of my disability, including the premium institutes in India, MIT welcomed me with open arms. And I'm, I'll always remain grateful for them for this. And it was a lovely experience uh, being here. And, all, and after a long gap, I've been back in the United States here in Philly. Um, many people, like most of you, ask me, why have you gone back to India instead of settling down in the United States? Of course, it's a valid question, right? I have a re the real reason is that I want to change the world around me. If you see how politicians spend their time here, they're busy debating what point of photos becomes a human being, or uh, just busy arguing how, how old is our planet, whether it's four billion years old or 7,000 years old. But the, on, on the other side of the equation in India, we try to figure out how to stop people from using roadside as a toilet. And solve the big problem of the poorest of the poor people from having their meager subsidy money stolen by the politicians. Trying to figure out how to provide skills for the 90% of the Indian population who is self-employed or in low-end jobs. We have big problems to solve, by the way. And it is my generation that needs to solve them. And this is why I went back home. I do know why most of you have come to America. No, the other day, my friend and an investor and a mentor, Ravi Manta, was telling me when he, he's done with his high school in 1989, he had to come to United, the United States because there were no opportunities for the middle class people in India. But things are different now. As long as you are willing to break the bureaucratic assholes and a bit of corruption, India is a land of opportunity like the United States. <laughs> so, see, look at this way. India will grow at 8% a year for the next 25 years. That's a phenomenal growth. And assuming all this growth in, is in the cities, our cities will grow at 25 to 30% in terms of GDP. In other words, you will become rich in India by just showing up or starting any business. As, <laughs> as long as you are willing to break, uh, tackle the politicians. Of course, if you are not willing to tackle the politicians, you may invest on me because I'm already doing it. By the way, we do things very differently in India. When we started our company in 2013, and until my board gave me a raise six months ago, my salary was about 8,000 uh, 8, 8, a month for the last three years. That's about $120. And I really feel we cannot create something by sitting out of uh, luxury, lap of luxuries, because even the research shows our brains are hardwired to produce best efforts when there is only hardship. Of course, we can create hardship for one, each one of us by setting higher goals for every one of us. I had so much hardship in my life that it has become an addiction for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I really feel if your response to challenges is to say, bring it on, I'm sure the world will conspire to help you succeed. Now let me talk about Volant Industries. Yes, we, um, we started Volant to provide opportunities for the 80 plus million uh, people with disabilities who are not employed and not skilled, but other than that, we are a commercial enterprise. Volant has grown 20% uh, 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 a month. What, you might be thinking, is it true? Yes, of course you had it right. So we have, we have been doubling our revenues every six months for the last three years since our launch. And our current expansion in works will take us to the next level of scale. I had a simple insight that led me to packaging and paper product segment in India. 
as it is dominated by cottage level players and heavily fragmented. I simply thought if I could bring in my MIT level thinking to this cottage industry, we could make some magic. And that's what we did. It was later when I met my lead investor, Ravi, he, has, he had another insight about this business from a finance perspective. He suggested to me that the cost of capital of these cottage level players is close to 15% a year. And his idea was that if he could bring in if we could bring in capital at 15%, then that would supercharge our growth, and that's what we did. Growth is a self-fulfilling prophecy if you convince the world to give you cheaper capital. And we, we are fundamentally altering the dynamics of the packaging industry. As you know, this segment has historically been a low-end, with low-end, low-scale uh, low players, uh, you know, doing cash businesses with unviable economic models. But on the other hand, as a consolidator, we are bringing pro uh, high quality products to market at scale, and main, more importantly, doing the clean way, meeting all our tax obligations. Our, our, um, our next expansion will go one step forward. We are going to use 100% solar power, recycle 100% of our waste in creating usable products. Our goal is to create products that people should be proud of using. And our mission, which is a triple bottom line mission, as Hari was saying, is to create eco-friendly products, use renewable electricity sources, and provide employment for the millions of uneducated and unskilled disabled people of India, and, 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 and become a, um, an example for everybody. At this point, you might be wondering how you can be a part of our journey. If you have kids and, and are trying to give this same ethic, work ethic, and the same hunger that you had when you came to this country, then I have a solution for you. Send them to India. We will hire them in marketing or sales or design 100 other things which fast-growing companies in India need and help them and motivate them to be, success, to be successful on their own. And if you are looking to uh, invest, or, uh, the other way you can be in touch with us is by putting us in touch with philanthropic or investment capital. If you or someone you know is looking to invest or donate for the effective use of skilling of disabled people, talk to us, we'll show you how. If you're looking for, an investment, for your next big investment opportunity, trying to join a company which is doubling its revenue every six months and want to join Ratan Tata and top angels of the country, uh, then Bolant is the right option for you. Thank you so much. <laughs>